what's up guys you're welcome to my channel today today we're talking about loom network now when i i'm looking at the blockchain space when i look at projects i'm looking at projects first that has a community second has so much education third a system that people can build upon and fourth things a system that can integrate with other system so it must have a community it must have education it must have systems people could build upon you want to consider all these things when making an investment however this is not a financial advice let's talk about our loom network so loom network it's a project that you want to really consider why because they are doing three things one of the things is that they are providing frameworks for game developers by developing software um, and development kits that could be integrated into different stores like we have um, unity you have different um, stops so they're trying to develop software kits like if you want to develop uh, you can develop kits for platforms like um, go java this and that and that then the other thing again is that they're also providing a framework where you can build the next twitter so the first thing is for game developers as you can see here think of warcraft and then platforms like twitter on the blockchain and then the other thing is apps that require high scaling so if you're talking about a re-implementation of uh, plasma loom network is one of the platforms that you should actually um, be looking into now if you look at this platform i think there is a place where they wrote we don't have a white paper <laughs> but we ship code that is one of the, that is one of the things they said we don't have a white paper but we ship code So what they are doing, we just were simply shipping uh, products, and they've shipped. So what is Loom Network? Loom Network is building a fundamental infrastructure that will help Ethereum scale, and this is the first Ethereum scaling solution to be live in production. In short, you can think of Loom Network as EOS on top of Ethereum. Now, one of the things you should look for is the power of leveraging they already have the community they can leverage the power of the community i talk about the sdk then we have our d app chains so we have each d app has its own side chain the loom sdk generates what is called d app chain a two-layer blockchain that uses ethereum as its base layer running each d app on its own side chain to the ethereum has a number of benefits but most importantly the options can use alternative consensus rules so you can set up uh, your own consensus rules using ethereum as a base layer means the option based assets like erc20 or erc721 tokens have security guarantees of ethereum they talk about massively scalable the apps like i covered and then secure by plasma then you can talk about the tokens these and that the platforms they built let's go to their website and see things for ourselves so build games that cannot be built without the blockchain that are probably secure items tradable tokens internal worlds and all that we don't write white papers we ship code now there are many pros and cons of this if you want to analyze this stuff there are platforms that have very amazing white paper but no you see there's nobody or business that wants to read the white paper the thing is do you have a product yes give it to me let's use it simple so these are some of the projects they've uh, developed so far. We have Delegate Core. So you can earn tokens by um, posting and receiving uh, and answering questions. 
the platform is like um if I'm not mistaken, like stack overflow. Where you can uh, it's almost like something it's something like Reddit, you know that. You can post and you can answer questions. How to get a job in solidity. And uh, so that is that. And then um they have another platform we have crypto zombies. No. So crypto zombies, um I think when I was watching the as I when I was watching the interview, they did with Alan Banana. Um they, they, they the founder said that the game is now being used by almost two hundred thousand or over two hundred thousand people. And people are using this stuff to learn. That is why I told you the platform that first educates people and then has systems that can enable anyone build. So you're having solidity to teach people how to code. Then you are not having SDKs. Let's get started. If you want to start programming. Okay. Lesson one. Start. Let's move on. Then the other platform they've developed now that over 10,000 people are using is a code sharing website uh, for Ethereum. So you can have your code and you can share it with uh, people. It's the most popular place to share uh, Solidity uh, code statements, compile, run, and test uh, Solidity code statements from around the world. So that the, uh, this snippet is very, very good. I really like this stuff. Then you, they have uh, the Solidity X, a programming language that it's secure by default and can compile directly to Ethereum. So these are some of the products they have are actually building. And then they have a very, very strong team in Bangkok. We have uh, James Dunphy, you can check him up, uh, Lok Chang and um, Many other guys. Loom SDK. So they have a SDK for JavaScript. Fiza, Golang, Unity, and more. So, guys, if they're able to deliver, there is no problem with that. No problem. And then they are seeking to build a game. The game is called the Zubin Battleground. It's still in the process. But let's see what they build with it. And then moving on, when we talk about gaming, we have uh, a platform like Engine. So Engine has been there for almost like 10 years now. They've developed SDK. I already cover Engine, Engine in, in, in details. They've developed SDKs that are um, being used for different platforms and if you go through their roadmap they want to develop sdk unity develop in many 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 different platforms if you look at um gaming is a very very big industry whether it's in the apps in the area of um building systems for the exchange of game items like was or you're trying to build systems uh, like people can use for trading games who have a platform like BitGame. So BitGame is uh, a kind of project that is forming an alliance with other uh, blockchain projects to build blockchain games uh, to 
help fund block, uh, blockchain projects um, that will build on, build games to also um, the next thing they are doing is build the central a decentralized exchange with matrix AI and then build a lot of stuff so I really like projects that are focusing on gaming and then another project I, I really, really that I would really like to cover you should pay attention to is projects that are seeking to bring cryptocurrency to the masses any projects that will make crypto spendable the fiat the fiat is getting devalued every day so any project that will make crypto so valuable you can start to support uh you that, 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 you, that you can now start to um use crypto is a project you should pay attention to before we close one of the things you should know is that uh, loom is seeking to make people program smart contracts in any language of their choice their smart contract is programming go and soon they will start supporting smart contracts in javascript then javascript is one of the programming language that is widely used so guys that is uh loom network in a nutshell in a little intro about um engine so guys do have a very good day